Hi, Nicky Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Morning, world. Well, Nicky Trev here. Well, what I thought I'd do is uh, give you a bit of a um, uh, walk around my bus and, um, and a little bit of an intuit inside tour. So, um, for those that haven't seen it, um, I'll just turn the camera around now. This is my home. I've been living in here for about four years now, and um, I've done a few trips in it. But at the moment, so there is this massive boot in here, which is now just turned into storage for um, excess bike parts and a few things. So, but I did do some trips in it until I had a major breakdown where I spent 10 days on a T intersection out of Kilkeven with a front hub collapse. So, got some good storage in there. I carried the spare generator, and they're all just storage bins in here. As you can see, it's just storage and stuff. They hold a lot, especially when she's loaded. Actually, when I'm loaded, um, I'm 11 and a half ton fully loaded, and uh, that's a lot. Thank God I've got engine brakes. So the poor old annex, it's, um, it's starting to deteriorate now. It's got cracks and stuff in it. And the, um, the ends are starting to uh, tear apart after a pretty strong windstorm. And it does look like... It's been sitting... Oh, well, I've been living in the backyard here permanently for a couple of years now. Since that um, breakdown. So it's down the other side of the bus. So that's where you have your... Uh, Cassette toilet, which is awesome, easy clean, and uh, that was the side down there when uh, she was fully independent of mains power. Now I've got a shitload of subtle panels up there that aren't being used at the moment because uh, to price my batteries. I'm looking about two, two and a half thousand dollars. So at the moment I've just got a couple of shitty old car batteries hooked up to 12, and um, it's just running the basics, pumps and lights of a night time. And I have to just bang them on charge every couple of days to um, just keep the pumps working for the toilet, kitchen, and the lights at night. So, um, but other than that, she was fully independent of mains power. So she's a 73 bedroom van. Power steering, 4, 4, um, 466 diesel, non-turboed, and a 5-speed turner box. Uh, okay, here we go. I'll head up the steps inside. So this is my cab area. That's where I have all my hanging things. As I don't know, you can see probably, but I'm into hang stuff hanging up everywhere. So this is my cab area. I did have a really good reversing camera. Well, I still have a good reversing camera, seat, that's the dash. And there's there's my doors. I love them doors. So, so this is the entrance to the front of the bus. This is the cab area. I haven't got a spare seat. No one wants to hang. Okay, so we open these lovely doors and we come inside. Uh, this is sort of what my, my living area. I've got no couch. I've only got two chairs with their own little individual tables, which is cool. That's all my trinkety stuff down there. My daughter Rada, you'll uh, recognise a lot of that stuff. Seeing most of it was sent from you. All my crystals and stuff like that, and my rocks. I love them. And then, of course, I have all my hang stuff, my skulls, um, more more daughter jewellery. Got quite a lot of daughter jewellery actually. Uh, picked this little guy up over in Bali, so he's just my hanging thing at the moment. Uh, these are your, like your original, I think they're like almost like V-line racks. So uh, they're good for storage. My friend gave me that quite a few years ago. She sells me out pretty early. So uh, down into uh, basically kitchen area. And as always, when you live in a bus. I don't always get everything done, so full gas stove. Um, I've got um, instant gas for hot water, which I don't use. Turn the pump on, and um, we've got water. 
pump's actually got a leak at the moment so I don't leave it turned on. Now that's my office area. This is where I sit and do all my editing and vids. Uh, looking back to the front of the bus. So we're, we're not even, you're about halfway down the bus, overhead cabinets. We also run a uh, CB 24 hours a day. I do have a scanner radio, but um, the antenna's not connected, but that CB runs 24-7, so I hear all the trucks going through, what they've got to say, road reports. Um, Full-size electric fridge, fridge freezer. There was a microwave up there, but the first thing I did when I got the bus was toss the microwave out, because I, I, I refuse to have a microwave, I can't stand them. And especially seeing it was on full uh, independent power, then, you know, I just didn't need it. So, but this ran using batteries and solar panels and um, it's the first time I've actually had a bus that um, didn't require a gas fridge so move a little bit down storage area so here we've got a pretty cool pantry and they've done it well because it's all these are all like roll out shelves and bring it probably one of the better setups I've seen in many of the buses I've had just like my fourth bus now so this is probably the best setup and you've got your big wardrobes all your hanging stuff in here you have um, your toilet and um, shower which I don't use so but that's um that's really good so I got my own personal bogger another cupboard here just for um, towels and stuff drawers down the bottom there they hold heaps let me come into my bedroom and there is Mr. C DC my kitty cat who is um just turning 20 now he's not my cat he just chose to live in here he came in here one night wandered into the bus and sort of had a bit of a look around wandered out did that a couple of times and by the third visit he wandered into the bus and he's basically never left um I did have an air conditioner up there but it shit itself so I've been living right through the whole summer with no air con and it get quite in here, um, I was pushing um, 48s, 49s in a couple of days, it did hit the 50 odd degrees in here. So, and of course you've got your cupboards either side, which is good for stuff. Some lights, and then um, some more cupboards down there. That's, uh, I know you can't see because of the light, but that picture was taken 40 years ago when I was 17. Um, yep, yeah, fan. So, um, yeah, the whole roof's also been like lined with carpet. So, from the bed, that's the view down to the front of the bus. Now, uh, these lights are all 24 volts, so they're not working at the moment because um, the bus is a 24 volt system that does have a 12 volt split in it. So, come back down. So, uh, only the 12 volt stuff's working at the moment. And because I'm parked up, I don't feel the need to go out and spend two and a half thousand dollars on batteries <coughs> just to stay off mains power. I never spend two and a half thousand dollars on mains power for my whole life. There's just no way. I don't have much power draw in here, so that's what's like the door closed. There's my telly. Well, that's actually a replacement telly now. It, um, uh, I had a few drinks the other night and it decided it got pissed and fell off and broke so I had to go and buy myself a new one for $80. Looks great though. And um, the stereo lives up there. Um, just, that's an amp tuner which I just plug me stick into. I've got some decent sized house speakers as well down there. So um, yeah, when, I'm, uh, when I've got it cranking, the neighbours know exactly what I'm listening to and I don't give a shit because it only happens once or twice a year so luckily I don't complain. So. Anyway, a lot of this um, stuff is just, yeah, just all comes to me. I do have these strip lights too. They come on at the night time if I want. They look pretty groovy at the night time. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I just, um, for those people who don't know me, I just sort of do a quick vid and um, show you where I live. So I've been here, living in here for four years. I've been parked up in the backyard for the last two. Um, and yeah, um, I'm loving it. So it's quite good. Another feature I like about coming to the bus is that's a water meter. 
So what that does, it measures my tanks. Oh, and there's my old, uh, there's my Honda 754 badges. They come off one of my bikes. So anyway, sorry for the shoddy camera work world, but anyway, so I'm Hippie Truth. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, bye.